Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Brand Block. Brand Block, as you can uh, guess, has the name of Brand Cohen in it. And actually, this is a block version of the Brand Sphere. And as you know from uh, previous videos of mine, I'm a big fan of the Brand Sphere geometry, which has a four-fold symmetry and a three-fold symmetry. And I made this spherical version to show the geometry without any distraction. But then I thought, let's make a more cubic uh, type of uh, version and to see, um, well, what uh, illustrates better. So actually, um, another way of looking at uh, Bram's block is to look at the not bended puzzle first. So on your uh, left, this is the not bended puzzle and this is the brand block. And you see at the top they have both fourfold symmetry and in the front this one has fourfold symmetry and this one has threefold symmetry. So uh, before I'm going to turn it, first let's check the symmetries. From the top we see a fourfold symmetry with uh, these are the edges and we see that the, the pieces correspond one to one. So it's really the same puzzle. Also from the front you see the threefold symmetry. You see this, this edge here corresponds to that one. Uh, the corner here corresponds to this yellow triangle. So each piece uh, has its equivalent in the sphere. And of course this twisty puzzle twists like any twisty puzzle. You turn either around its threefold axis or around its fourfold axis. So uh, again the threefold axis, again the fourfold axis, and as you see it gets quickly scrambled. So my question to you is um, the comparison between these two puzzles. This version, the spherical version, is uh, for shown, showing the, uh, the geometry. The other one looks more like a Rubik's cube so that you can easily, more easily identify the pieces. And the question is obviously which of these two do you prefer, the Brandt block or the Brandt sphere? Thank you for watching.